The Phoenix Suns went crashing out of the playoffs in the first round, getting swept by the Minnesota Timberwolves last year. You'd have to think they're eager to start off the new season on the right foot on the road at the LA Clippers. I'll tell you what I think, but before I do, I got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com for a limited time. You can get the entire month of November, less than $8 a day. Details are in the ticker below. This promotion is available for any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com. Uh, you're looking for a reason to back this guy right here. I was a top five NBA handicapper, hit 59% against the spread with the NBA last year, 60% in the playoffs. I'm a 58% against the spread NBA handicapper over the last decade. Feeling confident heading into the season. I like to tread lightly in the beginning of the year, but I like to ramp it up get, as we get closer to playoffs. As always, no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Now let's get into it. The Phoenix Suns will be a four-and-a-half-point road favorite. The total sits at 224. Uh, the Clippers were 4-1 and one in the preseason. Quite impressive, uh, ranking third in the NBA in opponent scoring in preseason games, allowing just 96.6 points per game. Uh, don't get too excited about this Clippers team, though. They might have a new logo, and it is one of the ugliest logos in the NBA this season. Uh, I always thought a Clipper was supposed to be a sailboat, and they've got some kind of cruise ship-looking thing on that logo now. But uh, Kawhi Leonard injured. Uh, Paul George traded to Philly. No more Russell Westbrook. They still got James Harden. I don't know if he's in game shape or not, but uh, then then you got Norm Powell, uh, Terrence Mann, Zubach, uh, Batum, Derek Jones Jr. I mean, would it, to be honest with you, would any of these guys be starting for a championship caliber team? I think you have to ask yourself that. They're pretty short on talent. They're going to have to play strong defense. They did that last year. In fact, both these teams were above average defensively last season, ranking 10th and 13th respectively. Uh, I did mention that the Phoenix Suns got swept in the first round of the playoffs last year. They failed to score 100 points in both games at Minnesota. And uh, I, I do expect this to be a, a lower scoring game. I think that number of 224 looks a little inflated. But uh, we're talking about a Phoenix Suns team that is the favorite to win the Pacific. Uh, the Clippers are the favorite to finish last in the Pacific. I'm not really that bullish on this Suns team. I mean, you've got the big three, Booker, Durant, and Beal, all injury prone. Beal and Durant, uh, wrong side of 30. Um, yeah, I think at some point in the season, one of those guys is, is going to go down. But as far as uh, opening night, Given that they were swept in the first round last year, given their opponent, I will uh, I will take the Suns minus four and a half. I'll take the under, and I'll take the new point guard for the Phoenix Suns over 17 and a half points and assists. He played for Washington last year, averaged a dozen points and 7.3 assists. Uh, we get a combined number a little lower than that average, and I think his numbers might be up playing for uh, – a team that's going to win more games, score more points, and uh, playing with more talented teammates. So the play is on the Suns, the under, and Tyus Jones over 17 and a half points and assists. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.